Hello, this video is about setting up the 1734.io and this is the model that we'll be using, the 1734 AENTR Series C and we'll be wiring this device. You can see here the voltage goes into terminal 6 and the common goes into terminal 4 and we'll be connecting to a complex logic L24ER and you see here is the wired device. The thumbnail is set to 999 to enable DHCP. And from this, we'll be connecting our laptop directly to the point IO using the Ethernet cable. And now we're in our laptop. We're going to go to our network settings and change our IP address to an address that is easy to remember. And then we will open up boot P and select our newly configured IP address. And you can see here, this is the uh, point IO. And from here, we can set the point IO's IP address. Alrighty, now it's set. We can open our browser and connect to the web interface. Okay, from here we can go and change our network settings. And we'll be changing our IP address once again. We're going to disable GHCP and statically assign our IP address and our subduct mask and our, our gateway address. Okay. After this, we can go scroll down and hit apply changes. Okay, and now we're going to need to change our IP address on our laptop once again. And we're going to change it to an IP address that fits into the point I use IP range. Once this is set, we can go hop on back onto the web interface using the point I use IP address. From here, we're going to change our chassis size to three. Now there's two input and output cards connected to the point IO. The point IO, point IO itself also counts for a chassis slot. So in total, we will have a chassis size of three. And here are our input and output cards. Now we are ready to hop on Studio 5000 and we'll open RS Lynx Classic. And we're going to communications, configure drivers, go to Ethernet, configure, and add our point IO IP address. Now we should be able to see it on our network. Here it is. Okay, now we're gonna go down to Ethernet, add a new module, and search up 1734. Select our model. 
Okay, now we're gonna give it a name and then assign the statically assign the IP address again. Then we're gonna match our series and revision. And chassis slot size to three. And yes, and that's how you add the point IO to Studio 5000. Next, we'll be adding our input and output cards. So we're going to go down to three slot chassis and add a new module. Now we're going to pull up our web interface to get the names and re firmware revision of our input and output cards. You can see here the name and the firmware revision. So we will search that up. Hit create, go to module definition, change, enter the correct firmware revision, disable keying, hit OK and add. Then we're going to open it up, double check our module description. Here it is. Create. And we're going to go to module definition and change into the correct firmware. Disable keying. Hit OK. Okay, and then we're going to want to go online with this to make sure there's not any faults. If there was a fault, there'd be a small yellow triangle next to the point IO's icons there and the module icons. And if you ever needed to fix these faults, you can see here the status would be faulted instead of running. And most commonly, there'd be a mismatch. To fix this, you want to enter, recheck the module definition and make sure they're correct and hit reset and refresh. Okay, you can see here we have our input card one and our output card two. Okay, and now I will make a program to display how the inputs and outputs work. Here's a screenshot of my program, and here it is in action. Each output is an output on the point IO's output card. See when it's turned on, the ind status indicator light it turns on, and also turns off when the output is false. Thank you for watching.